Hello, my warriors. How is it going? Welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. Today, guys, we are playing another mission, or maybe two, and we're gonna... Actually, we're gonna upgrade Iago a little bit more, because I want to get the next mech bay. That's gonna cost us 2.3 million, but... We have enough money to um, get the improved power conduits, which also grant us additional tech points, and that is really, really cool. So, let's uh, wait for our repairs. We only have to wait for, uh, okay, seven days, because our people are needed to get out of fatigue here. Very important. But uh, we will play the next mission before the next financial report, and that's good. So, let me see if we have enough of the experience already. To get the next skill point unlocked. Hell yeah, let's get more piloting on this guy. Absolutely, I want the higher... Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, 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 uh, evasion cap. That is the thing. Absolutely important. And we are also almost at gunnery 6 on the other guys. That's looking really solid already. Okay guys, let's drop on the next mission. I want to play uh, one of those destroy base missions here. Uh, and we have an ambush convoy, but I'm gonna start with destroy base first because we might get something good out of this and um, I want to get more and better medium max at the moment We are a little bit under tonnage when it comes to the medium max bracket. We have a 45 tonner wait No, the Clint is 40 ton. Yeah 40 ton 45 on the uh, on the blackjack and the Uzi LS 50 ton as well as the hatchet man so I need to get a little bit higher in terms of tonnage. Replacing a 40 tonner to a, 40, a 55 tonner would be a huge upgrade. So I'm looking for something that I can use to replace the Clint with. And I'm looking for Shadowhawks, Griffins. I'm looking for, um, I don't know, maybe maybe the Trebuchet that we saw last time, the Katyusha. That was also a nice 55 ton mech. But yeah, making those steps, you need to make sure that you make them um, in a significant way. Upgrading from a 40 tonner to a 45 tonner doesn't give you so much. So if I was offered a Phoenix Hawk here, I probably wouldn't take it. I would just scrap it just because it would take me so much money and time to refit all of my stuff from my 40 tonner to my new 45 tonner. And I think that's just not worth it. An upgrade of 5 ton, throw it away. Just don't use it. But from a 40 tonner to a 55 tonner, definitely. Absolutely. Now, let's destroy that base, shall we? Waiting for orders. I really hope that we have turrets here. Actually, no, I don't hope that we have turrets. Because turrets will take away weight from the battlefield that would normally be mechs or... Yeah, mechs. Or vehicles, I wanted to say, but I don't want vehicles. Do you? you get the point, right? So, having turrets on the board... I think it makes it a bit easier because turrets are steady targets that you can take out quite reliably. Uh, especially with our Gauss rifle that we have now. That's really cool. However, uh, it's not a target that I can salvage or that I want, um, so, yeah. We'll play safe. I've got something. Jumping around and then going uh, into the forest. A vedette and the bulldog. Oh, heavy tank. Alright. I mean, we have the means to crack that shell open with uh, the gauss, with our hatchet. <laughs> Arasa. Those guys are nasty. They're just nasty. They don't do much, but they are just annoying. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, we have the means to crack them open, but we need to get close in order to do it. Do I play it aggressive here? I could. Could go to the mineral field. Yeah, we played aggressive and defensive at the same time. That's pretty good. But we have to destroy the Vedette. I am a bit scared of the double ballistic setup of that thing. 50 ton tank. Uh-huh, misses both of them. I have a feeling that those were 285s. I don't know. Hmm. 13% or 17%, yeah. We'll go with the 17 here. Lucky shot? No. We hit him with the laser, though. I mean, that's something. Alrighty, I think I want to... I want to focus my fire on a single target only. Okay, let's go in here. Oh god, this is this is just not good. This is a bit better. Going turbo. Oh, and we have turrets online. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, so we're gonna try to destroy the Hiressa. Damn it, there's another bulldog. And then the turrets in the back. They are 75 ton turrets. I've been center but they can sensor lock me. And they can shoot missiles from the outskirts. Okay. So here's my plan. I will bring the hatchet man as quickly as possible over to the front line. All right, this turret in the back needs to go. It has pulse lasers. That's bad. 
Mm, but yeah, Decker, Decker needs to destroy the tanks while the other guys are focusing on the turrets. No! Decker! 79%! Alright, that's bad. At least he's guarded afterwards, thanks to his Juggernaut ability, but that was bad. That was exactly the opposite of what we needed here. It might be worth shooting the Vedette, though, because we already started it. If he's uh, showing us his right side once more, then we just might go ahead and uh, shoot him a little bit more. Uh, which he's doing already. Yeah, he's showing us the right side. Alright. It's so weird that sometimes the Wolfhound models, they just lift their feet. Did you see that? <laughs> is he peeing or what is going on? <laughs> it's so weird that they sometimes do that. <laughs> so funny. Alrighty, Omega. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, we kind of have to go for the side shot there. Oh god, it's gonna hurt so much. Copy that, full speed. Let's see how you like this. Hey, we have a tank down though. That's fun, that's good. That helps. I hear ya. So, how much damage can we potentially do against the single turret? I said that I need to destroy the turret in the back, but I have the feeling that I'm missing out on damage if I don't shoot all of my weapons to the turret on the front. So... Alright, he's down to... what, 8? I think he was down to 8 structure... uh, sorry, armor. That was good. Uh. All right. Destroy? No, <laughs> didn't do it. I was actually expecting the Gauss rifle to hit properly here at that range. Yeah, that's fine. The good thing is that we have the hatchet man now in the bulk of the the tanks here in the middle of the fight. Uh, that's a problem though, the bulldog, and the pulp. Come on, that's cheating. Yeah, the pulse lasers from the back. Those sensor locks, in combination with the turret damage. They're gonna wreck my Uziel. I have to pull him back, instantly. That is what I mean. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't, if I wasn't sensor locked here, I would have been fine, but this is just ridiculous. Alrighty. Let's do it. I'm gonna bring Decker to the front deliberately. Because he's the one that can still take some damage. I'm gonna pull back the Uziel. That's a lot of repair costs in the end. Ow. One for the scrap heap. Really hope that this is gonna be gonna be worth it ultimately. Alrighty, swipey. Swipey wipey. Going back. Double time. Punching the harasser in the butt. One less vehicle. Alright. Omega, on the other hand, can actually push forward, and he should push forward as much as possible, getting the PA stuff online. And, yeah, this thing is basically down, so what we do is we'll shoot all of it, all of the damage that we have in range to the turret in the back, and um, a little bit of the stuff on the front line here. Like that. Okay. It was not enough. Holy cow. We didn't need much. We did need, like, 20 damage on the turret. Ow. Again, Bulldog is something that we can take care of with our hatchet man. On the move. Oh, don't tell me that I don't have line of sight. Oh, one of those lies intersected with the turret, and therefore I thought it would be... Okay, never mind. <laughs> hey! Alright, all the little mistakes. I mean, uh, I think that was my first big mistake here. The other ones before were just uh, unfortunate situations. I'm pretty happy that the sensor lock happens after they shoot, though. Nah, it's fine. Alright, we're gonna destroy two turrets next round. Swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. We have to push again. That's the thing. This time I can shoot the turret. And a multi-target. Uh, Vigilance is also a good idea here. Alright. Uh, Multi-target, as I was saying, go for this, let's go for this. Um, I think that should be enough, let's go. Yeah, 
That's the turret down, and we can already deal some or none <laughs> damage to the back turret. That's fine. We're gonna save some heat as a result. Anyhow, Bulldog, next big target. Let's take it out. Kill confirmed, Commander. Kill confirmed. I should have gone with the money here. Yeah. Honestly. Now that I know how this game goes, but I couldn't have known earlier. I couldn't have known before, so. Is that. Um, Alpha Strike. I will deliberately go overheat here, and we have five damage left. Alright. Can we do it? We have a 63% hit chance. Alright, we're gonna make a move and shoot? Come on. Finally. Now that it doesn't matter, we hit the big pinpoint. But the turret had to go. Alright, that re will result in a bit of um, repair cost. Ooh. What the hell was that? A mortar? Oh, mortar? How do you say that? Mortar? Mortar? Let's shoot him. Alright. Omega. Eh, a little bit hot, I think. We can shoot the SRM, that's fine. Dealing a bit of damage. Commander? Swipe also, ready to go in, ready to engage. Moving I think back. now we just push uh, the turret. To Try to just take him down so that the other one has no line of sight and uh, no sensors and everything. And he's hopefully, hopefully, not able to shoot us. Uh, yeah, let's stay out of line of sight. Maybe we can trick him into not doing anything. In the meantime... I'm gonna wreck your base. Yeah, it is a mortar, and they will they will continue shooting us. We gotta engage here. Copy that. Oh, oh, look at that! It's in your turret model, isn't it? Yeah. Light thunderbolt, you see? Ah, it's a thunderbolt turret. That's cool. That's really nice. I like it. Uh, we're gonna punch this guy, because punching deals uh, four times the damage against uh, structure, and that's really good. And we can also follow up with the PA lasers. Look at that, we should deal 128 damage. Let's see? If he doesn't miss, there is a miss chance still. Yeah, 128. Pretty good. Nice. And now the only thing that we have to do is destroying those buildings. Okay, we were coming out of this alive. We had a, I think, a jump jet crit so far. I mean, that's okay. Nothing, nothing to be uh, worried about. All right. It is a shame that we cannot melee buildings, though. That would be cool. Okay, everything here, just a little bit there. Down it goes. Ah, we missed the building. There's a big, steady structure in front of you that is not moving at all. And you are able to miss it. You're just such a good mech warrior. <laughs> Alrighty. And there's the kill. Perfect. Target destroyed. So, Ice Tray, last shot with the Gauss. Take him down, and we go home. Oh, pretty good. So, I think I took a little bit more damage than needed. A little bit. It's gonna be fine, ultimately. And I negotiated for the wrong stuff here. I was hoping that we find a mech instead of tanks. If those uh, Bulldogs were dragons, we would die. We would have died. <laughs> no, but I would... I think I would have liked to have like one heavy mech here, honestly. Or let's say just two or three mediums and one tank or something like that. That would have been cool. We didn't get it though. I'll take the large laser. You know why, right? It's an Ultra 5 though. Ooh. I mean... Oh god. Oh god. There's nothing that I really want. Nothing at all. Oh, it is so bad. That is so bad, guys. We'll take some SRMs. I'll take the Ultra 5, I believe. The 300,000 compared to the 250 here. Yeah, it's just money for me. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
That's okay. We'll get a lot of stuff anyway, and we're gonna sell some stuff. We get an IC engine, which I'm happy about, so that's some money. Uh, I'm looking for the SRM specifically here, because at some point I think I want to build an SRM boat with Inferno or Acid Ammo or Inferno Ammo or Acid Ammo or something, something like that. So SRMs in particular are really good and very valuable um, early game items. And we have some sixes now that we can use. That's really cool. Of course, it would have been better if they were plus or double plus weapons, but hey, it's a start. Absolutely. Now we need a mech for it. I wish I had, again, a griffin or something. Just loading it with SRMs and then just going crazy on the spam. Something like, um, there's, um, there's that one ammo type, what's it called? Um, that deals additional damage but has a lower accuracy. Um, yeah. My brain is not working today, but there is definitely something like that. Anyhow, uh, before we go over the next financial report and lose all of our money, I'm gonna go to the store and sell some stuff so that we can uh, just reduce our monthly cost by a little bit. I hope that we can get to 550,000, so let's see if it's possible. Here's that. The large laser is gonna fit into my hatchet man. Bunch of mediums that we don't need. Alright, I'm gonna keep three. Yeah. Machine guns, actually very interesting, but... Not right now. We're gonna sell the array. We're gonna sell some smalls here. A small laser spam is also extremely good. We could maybe... Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I think we could do something like... Putting all the smalls on uh, the clint and reduce the medium or just take out the mediums. Because the clint is fast enough to close distance anyway. And uh, it has a lot of power armor weapons, which are knife fighting weapons anyway. They're super short range. And with additional small lasers, we can squeeze out more damage by maintaining the same uh, weight and heat. I want to keep them, actually. We'll sell those SRM4s, though. We have two SRM6s already. I sell the Ultra 5. Ultra 10 is gonna... Th yeah, I'm gonna keep that thing. Fusion Core 240. I want to keep that just in case something happens with my mechs and I need to replace a Fusion Core. That's the thing. I want to have one spare Fusion Core. Uh, advanced targeting computer. Where does that thing come from? Alright. Mm, I need that jump jet to replace it with my Uziel. There's AC2 ammo. Machine gun ammo half. Let's go for that as well. Alright, it's actually not that impactful. Okay. What about what about the, the mech base? I need to check that real quick because um, I've never tried this. What about I scrap some light mechs here? What happens if I scrap the spider? Does my monthly cost go down as well? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Alrighty. I mean, that's interesting. I don't like locusts. Let's get rid of those. Okay, we can actually save some money here. Wolfhounds are cool. I want to keep that. Urban Mac 2, Javelin, not so much interested here. And the Raven is also an interesting thing to pick up if we get there. Uh, yes, okay. So, what we need is our Max. We need them back. <laughs> very, very crucial. But it's interesting to play it like that. Um, having having the consideration of how many mech parts do I even need? What am I building towards? And scrapping everything else makes me um, have more just money lying around. Which um, improves and accelerates my Argo upgrades and my overall gameplay. So I'm not that much in a, in a strugglesome situation anymore. Alrighty. Let's take a look. Maybe we can amplify the fighting capacity of our mechs a little bit. And there, there's no maybe. I mean, that's a definite yes on this end here. Yes. Oh, ER medium. Yeah, we can take it. Uh, and put the large laser in there, obviously. Bow. Do I want the other ER mediums or do we even take a vehicle flamer into the mech? Being able to set things on fire. It seems like a good idea to me. Let's actually do that. And at this point, at this point, we are fine. We are fine in terms of tonnage. We're gonna just upgrade the armor a little bit more. Uh, definitely on the legs here. Yeah. Definitely the legs. Let's go to 85 and stay on 90 or 85 here on the side. All right, 80. It sounds like a plan to me. If we could get an, uh, a structure upgrade or an XL gyro in here, it would be great. We have huh, a regular ECM. We could take a Guardian ECM instead. 
Actually, let's get some defense on this guy. That gives us additional plus one defense as well as everything else that we get from the ECM as well. So now we got 0 0.5 tons that we could invest again. Um, the jump jets are interesting, I gotta say. I want to keep them. What else is there? The large laser is going to help getting some, uh, quote-unquote, big damage out early. It's good. Uh, half a ton. I could armor up again, but that would take us so much more time. But eventually I will get there anyway, right? Sure. Let's get the legs to, like, 100. Yep. That's good. Go to 85. You know what? Let's go to, like, 95. Arms are good already. I want the sides to 90. And the front on 100. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. We gotta invest seven more days into the build of the Hatchet Man. And uh, just because that thing is, is gonna carry us through the mid-game anyway. So it makes sense investing into it right now. The Clint, again, it's debatable whether or not I should upgrade it right now. Because it's a mech that I'm gonna replace as soon as possible. However, I think we have some options here. Uh, actually, we don't. No. We're missing the energy hard points. We cannot make it a small laser spam mech. It is not possible. It is just not possible. I think it has to It has to do as it, it does right now. If I had a regular XL gyro and not a double XL, I would put another... I would put a, an array of small lasers into the center instead of the single medium. Just because we have the heat management. Um, but I think it's fine as is. Yeah. It is okay. What I want is uh, the blackjack. We have another ER medium laser that was freed up from the Hatchet Man, and that definitely needs to find its way into this thing here. Being able to shoot at longer ranges is crucial on this mech. Yeah, we have a heat delta of 7, that's perfectly fine. And we are not running a fire control system. Wait, what? I thought I put it into the mech. Oh, alright. Never mind. Here we go. That fire control system is gonna help us a lot too. Now, what do we have here? 14 days? Yup. How do we manage it to get the most out of it? Blackjack to the front. It doesn't really matter. Okay, it's fine. It's fine anyway. Alrighty, guys. That was that mission. We still have some good money. I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, now we need to wait for like nine days. Uh, nine days because we also have to put a jump jet into the UZL back. Here we go. There has to be a repair. Got a little bit crit. But the good thing is that we found the jump jet in the last mission to just replace it. Okay. That's another one day that we can easily take. And I have to say, at some point... Great. Uh, sure, that's gonna give us morale. That's really nice. Too many radishes. Super good. Now, uh, we're gonna take a look at the uh, mech warriors. Because I believe we are quite close to our 6th gunnery skill. And there it is. It's gonna be so helpful, guys. Also, minus one recoil. Oh, so good. Omega, same thing. And we have... Swipe with the fifth gut skill. That's so good. Minus 5% heat generation. Hell yeah. And afterwards, I think we're gonna... We're gonna upgrade our tactics a little bit. Cool. That's good. I'm very happy about that. Now the next mission is going to be... I think ambush convoy was still a thing that we have here. Yes, and hmm. we could go for just a lot of money. Is Ambush Convoy, does it have so many um, 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 secondary objectives so that we can get a huge amount of money out of this? Or do we just go for just uh, the just, uh, salvage? What are we going for here? Let me see. Uh, a friend of our organization has been accused by the Liren Commonwealth of illegal activities. While under its accusation, she's uh, unable to perform her duties for local government leadership. Evidence uh, to be used in an upcoming hearing is being transported to a spaceport for safekeeping off planet. Your team is to intercept the convoy and destroy it. So, a convoy usually includes a lot of tanks. Mm, at the same time, sometimes they have mech escorts, which will probably be light mechs, most likely. We could need some money because the next mech bay costs us 2 point, 2 point something millions. 2.25, uh, yeah. Huh. Difficult. A very difficult thing. I want to go with one priority salvage. I want to get something at least. 
I think that's okay. And then 600,000 C bills. That is good. Always make sure that you get a little bit of progress done. I mean, unless you're in a desperate situation where you definitely need the money, then of course get the money. Let's see. So, ambush convoy. I think we are we are just in a mo and at the moment we have well set to do those missions here. Yeah. We have mobility, we have the pinpoint damage to stomp on the tanks, we have the, the Gauss rifle as well as our hatchet man. And um, yeah, we are just fast enough to keep up with them. So them running away shouldn't be an issue. It's all about how aggressive we play it and how aggressive we try to destroy the main target and then leave our backs open for getting backstabbed. Sometimes it's needed because uh, if you fail the mission then you don't get the, the rewards after that. So try to focus on the task at hand and sometimes you need to play it as aggressive as possible to get there. And as a result, yeah, this is one of those missions here. We have to push very aggressively. Ooh, this is bad. Enemy escorts are here and the track is going all the way up here. There's this little slope up here and that's the evac point. So what I usually do is I completely push over here to intercept the enemies and shoot the escorts Waiting while forward. we are doing it. Jumping. Let's see. Um, yeah, we can also... Wait, wait, wait. Jump and Here brace. Jumping and bracing, if you have the same uh, reach as sprinting, is usually the, the better option. Because you not only get the evasion, but you also... Um, get the guarded state and the entrenched state afterwards. That's really cool. I'm a bit worried about my blackjack. I don't think that he can keep up with the pace. So... It's gonna be a struggle. See, sprinting is not getting us that that far away. Jumping does. Urban mech, urban mech, and something. All right. So far, so good. Ooh, we can shoot him in the back. Our target is within sensor range. Okay. Hello, Urby. Uh, we have a primitive urban mech. That's good to know. And we have one crit on the engine already. I mean, I can outrun those urban mechs. I can just run away from them. That's good. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, please give me line of sight. No, oh, all right. No back shot on the urban mech again. Waiting for orders. Ooh, I mean that's interesting. We might be able to destroy the tank. Firing on target. You know what's really confusing? The fact that we have a goblin tank and the goblin mech. So sometimes when it states goblin, you don't know what you are up against. Okay, that's the fluid gun one. The other one, what was that? Was it an AC-20 mech? What can I do for you? We can shoot something, and we should. Oh, only the tag. Primary target <laughs> damage. Got him. Alright, we still keep up with the, the jumping. And I want to keep uh, shooting that urban mech here. Nice, we have a leg down. The large laser is coming in very handy here. Cool. On the ground with you. Minus six initiative. Oh, I really hope that wasn't um, wasn't a minefield. Oh, there's uh, nothing. That states a minefield. That's good. We have another urban mech. And another urban mech. Alright. It's just the urby lands here. Let me see. This is a... RHW. What the... No idea what it is, actually. But hey, let's shoot the leg of the other urby. Um, almost taking him down. Alright. Those were rookie pilots. They can't stand the barrage of uh, missiles and lasers. So if I just move, I get a better hit chance. And I want to take out this, because I thought it was a big gun. Nice. Ready to get it on. Okay, Ashtray. Um, alrighty. 19%. We have 20-something on that guy. Let me just shoot for the better hit chance. I think, yeah, I have to squeeze out every single point of hit chance that I can get when it comes to my Gauss Rifle. Uh, I don't care about the medium lasers so much, so 
will shoot them over to the other target that needed to be destroyed too. Yeah, I just want to make the, count, the shots count on the Gauss rifle. It's just important to me. Woo! Another AC-10, I believe. Also again, we have to keep up with the pace. Now it's sprinting time against the Hetzer. I think the Clint is gonna intercept those things. It actually has nice uh, kill capacity because it can melee as well as shoot all of those little tiny weapons on top of that. Receiving you. Yeah, we have to jump, sadly. Hot. Very hot. Ultra hot. Alright, Urban Mech tagged. Can I do it in a way where I'm a little bit ahead of the whole situation here and still shoot? Something like that, maybe? Ready for orders. Oh yeah, let's go. No! Oh my god, the cows hit the ground. Really? Really? Holy... Wait, 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 wait. Cow. Oh my god, okay. I hear ya. I mean, Swipe is still there. Swipe's gonna go point blank. Hello? Goodbye. Urban make down. Urban make down. Did you see that? Did you, Did you see, see it? it? Yeah, okay. The headset is now in range for the Clint to get stomped on. Alright, we, we have that thing, I think. The other guys don't seem to move that fast, though. The other tanks, that is. Mm, that goblin has uh, used all of his ammo, so it seems. Ow! AC-20! That, that guy up here, right? Yeah. What's up, boss? Holy hell. Print in. On it. Go for the kill here. Oh, also, let's get Vigilance on the mech. Just in case something bad happens. Oh, <laughs> that AC-20. <laughs> that AC-20. It has to go right now. Thank you. Sadly, that HVAC, the Havoc, Havoc, I don't know, AC was destroyed. I wanted to see what I can get out of this. Alright, so, it's another Urban Mech. R60LH. Also, big gun. Mm hmm. What's up, boss? Oh, and we lost. Oh, okay, we lost vision to the guy. That's a problem. We can still shoot him in the back. Let's see how you like this. Are you kidding me? Stop it. Watch my heat level. Oh, that head, sir. <laughs> All the heat in the world. Over the red line. <laughs> And another hundred damage. Oh, crap. What was that? Okay, it was the other guy. It was this guy who was shooting that. Ready for order. What the hell is going on here? I am very, very... Oof. I'm a bit hesitant if I should do it. The death from above. Let's not do it. Just shooting the large laser to the goblin. Oh my god. Waiting for orders. Ice tray. Kill this thing. Please. Now. Roger. It is not enough. Your Gauss rifle is so bad. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, you scored a critical hit and now you get out of here. Whoop. Can't vent all this heat. <laughs> they are so hot. My Ready for I know, I know, I know. Right, it's time to uh, stomp him in the back there. And I would technically go overheat here. Not only technically, I would go overheat. Uh, let's see. Copy that. Hello. Affirmative. Mm hmm. Alrighty, 64. Don't you destroy my blackjack. Hey, I'm overheating. I hear ya. In the meantime. Swipe. That urban mag, it has to go. It has to go right now. It still has uh, an angle on my my dude. Uh, 
Yeah, right? Uh, you can fry an egg in here. Uh huh. Good miss. Thank you. All right. I think we are, we are fine at this point. Unless the urban mech decides to kill... Whoa, one of my mechs now. <laughs> good, good, good. We are fine. Cool. Because now we can we can start doing something like this. Ignis, Scorpion. No, we're gonna kill the Goblin first. Or at least we try. Roger. Get wrecked. Target Thank you. Wow. Wow. One last vehicle. What a mission. Waiting on you, Commander. Um... This is so hot. I don't want to blow up my mech. At the same time, I want the urban mech off the field. Yeah. There's more where that came from. It's not enough yet. Heat critical. Watch my heat level. Yeah, that's a walk in the park, isn't it? <laughs> not. Give me my Clint. My Clint needs to catch up on the guy up there. Receiving you. All right, we got it. Now we can shoot all of our weapons again, and we are engaging from the back, which is fine. Hell yeah, there we go. There's a hit on the turret, which I didn't need. I needed it to hit the back. Um, it's bad. Commander. I copy. Kill, please, now. I don't believe that. Okay. Pretty damn hot, okay, it needed to be done. The urban mech needed to go right now. Alright, let's go in the back of this guy so that he cannot shoot us anymore. Yes! One more for the trash heap. Omega! How's it going? Ah oh, crap. Alright, it's gonna be a shooty turn and we go all in here. Hell yeah, we got it. I know, I'm, I'm going all over right here, also. Lifting the leg. And getting down again. Orders. Yo, Ice Tray. Yo, Ice Tray. Can you do it? No, you can't. <laughs> the answer is just no. And we're gonna move a little bit around. Roger. What can I do for you? Uh, yep. Jump and brace. And now we have but one tank to destroy. Standing by. Let's see. Going all in. Good thing is that we cannot uh, blow up the mech. The only thing that could happen is that we shut down the hatchet man, which is not a big deal. Wait, can we just move? Yes, moving and shooting is better than sprinting and shooting in this scenario. Acknowledged. Hey, we got the Gauss hit. The first Gauss hit, I think. Or maybe the second or something. Crazy. Time to fly. Here it comes. I think this is safe to say that we won this. Alright, we haven't pinned. We haven't pinched. Let's go. Damage from the front, damage from the back. Damage from everywhere. What's he gonna do? Omega going for another attack from the side here. Get him, boy. Yeah, follow up. I gotta say, while I don't like the Clint at all, I kind of like the Clint. Like, what he does, it is, it is extremely versatile. It is kind of a hybrid. It can shoot at mid-range to short range, but when it's getting hot, it just makes that punch happen. It deals 32 damage. Yeah, it's not much, I know. But that 32 damage on top of then the half half alpha strike, the half strike, the beta strike, the Charlie strike, I don't know. Um, it is cool. It's really cool. Also, money! Thank you. We need it. We needed to repair that. That double AC20 hit. Holy cow. It hurt me good. Now, what do we take, though? A howitzer 2000. What the hell? 30 damage, 10 tons. Recoil of 2, area of effect, 60 meters impact. Additional area of effect damage for 30 to primary and secondary targets. Okay. An AoE weapon. Oh, there's the uh, HVAC 20. 
Uh, hyper Velocity Auto Cannon fires special high velocity ammunition with a 10% chance of misfiring. Uh, okay. W what's the what's the benefit? Um, ba -ba -ba, the Hyper Velocity Auto Cannon family of weapons is based on the Auto Cannon. While they have the same damage classes, they are capable of firing much further. Ah! However, in order to obtain an increased ballistic range, the Hyper Velocity ammo is larger and uses a unique type of propellant, reducing the number of shots per ton of ammo along with a couple of other drawbacks, such as the chance of the weapon exploding mm, and the thick smoke trail every time the weapon is fired. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> that sounds interesting, but it's all it's only very risky. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, what is that? <clears throat> 30 damage to primary and secondary targets. So we deal 30 damage twice to the primary target, right? Is that worth 10 tons? Nah. Nah. While it's interesting, um, I think I don't take it. A recoil fire control system, though. I uh, will not use it, but interesting. Uh, reinforced leg. Reinforced actuators, more armor, I see. Ooh, upper recoil, plus one accuracy with arm-mounted weapons. Hell yeah. Give me the accuracy here. Yeah, uh, that's what we need, that's what we do, that's what we take, absolutely. And it reduces the recoil by one. I'm gonna take that. We're gonna take a fluid gun and two single heat sinks. And I think I'll put that upper arm actuator into... The blackjack, because it doesn't have any lower arm options, so that additional ac accuracy, especially on the Gauss rifle, is gonna give us a good time on the battlefield. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm also thinking about what shall we do, not with the drunken sailor, but with the drunken blackjack. The medium lasers here proved themselves very hot. And I am not entirely sure if I want to keep them. Of course, we were playing on a hot biome, so there's that. So I think... We have to do some more field tests on a different planet in order to see how they work and um, how they perform in total. But three ER medium lasers on a blackjack, the Gauss rifle already rack up a lot of heat. Alrighty, 11 days for the repairs. It's mostly the jack. Is it? Six days. Oh, the hatchet man took some damage too. Alright. But it's fine. We got um, 1.4 million sea bills now. That's really good. And, um, yeah, you know what? I think that is a good uh, point to uh, make a cut. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And as I was saying, I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.